Hey friends, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, my name is Mike and today I'm going to show you how you can run Final Fantasy XIV on your Steam Deck in the quickest, easiest way possible. This whole process only took me about two minutes um, if you take away sort of like download times and stuff like that. There are some other guys on YouTube that show you how to do a similar thing, um, but they require a ton of like coding and going into the program files and just seemed like way too complicated um, and messy. But when I looked online, I found this way quicker, easier way of doing it, um, but no one's made a video about it. So I thought I would fill that void, hopefully help you out. Um, so let's jump straight into it, shall we? Oh, and I should say that this is how I booted the non-Steam version of the game. I believe the regular Steam version actually boots fine out of Steam Deck at the time of recording. Okay, so the first step is on your Steam's gaming mode, you want to go into the Steam store and you want to download either the full version of Final Fantasy XIV or the trial version. Now I know this seems really odd because we're not actually going to be running the Steam version of the game, um, but for some reason we need to download the file to make everything work. Um, but if you haven't got the full version of Final Fantasy XIV, you can just download the free trial version. Um, I bought the full version despite not having a Steam account because I'm an idiot. And then next we're going to switch over to desktop mode and we're gonna come down to the Discover Store. Open that up, come to search. We're gonna press Steam and X to bring up our keyboard. And we're gonna enter in X, I, V, Launcher. But in fact, I think if I just put X, I, V, it's gonna come up, yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna download this X, I, V, Launcher thingy. Uh, it should have like a little install button like it does there. So we're gonna hit install, download that, hit close, and then we're gonna head over to Firefox or any kind of web browser that you have downloaded. And we're gonna type in XIV Launcher Steam Deck. And we're gonna find this link from Goat Corp and we're gonna hit on that. And then we're gonna scroll down and find this bit of text here. So this is actually the guide that I use for this, this whole process if you want it in text form. And we're going to copy this bit of text here. Left click, hit copy. So once that's copied, we're gonna exit out of here. We're gonna come to Steam while still in desktop mode. And we're gonna come to Games add non-Steam game to my library and we're going to find the, uh, the XIV launcher. So we're going to tick this box and hit add selected programs. I've already done it so I don't need to. And just so you know, what we're essentially doing there is downloading a custom launcher for Final Fantasy XIV, which works with Linux. They're an awesome company that set up this launcher totally for free. Um, I'll leave their details down below if you want to go check them out, support them, join their Discord. They're a great, great bunch. Uh, next, we're going to go to library and we're going to find the launcher in our list. Should be down here now. Yeah. And then we're going to hit left click, properties. And then under launch options, we're going to delete whatever was there and we're going to paste in the new text, which is, which is already in here. And we're actually nearly there, so we've just got to switch back to gaming mode. And once we're back in gaming mode, we're going to find the, the launcher, not the actual game itself. We're going to hit on the launcher, hit play. We're going to put in our usual login details. Oh, and I should preface by saying that I changed the controller scheme so that the trackpad works with the mouse in case you're wondering uh, why you couldn't use that, uh, but it's super easy to change. Anyway, we're going to put in our details, hit login. And this is where the client's going to actually download, so that's going to take a while obviously. Um, but then once it's downloaded, you just go for the exact same process and it's going to start booting up the game. And then when it brings up this screen, we've just got to, like it says, hit Steam and switch it to Final Fantasy XIV and the game's going to boot up. There we are. Um, it's also worth saying that uh, when you've booting for the first time you'll need to find your server again. Um, so you'll just need to yeah, find what server you're on, uh, hit enter and then you should be able to find your character from there. And that's it. 
Easy peasy. I highly recommend that if you've been playing controller on PC, that while you're on your PC and you've got all your controller settings set up how you like them, come to this button here, hit proceed, and then you want to upload your character settings data, and that's just gonna upload all your like different bits and pieces, how you've, how you've configured your controller. So upload them on your PC where you've got them set up, and then when on your Steam Deck, come to the same place and just hit download, and that's gonna put all of your like yeah settings and things over onto your onto your Steam Deck. And that's it, we're gonna try and enter the world now just to show you how it plays. Now if this is your first time playing on controller, I highly, highly recommend checking out uh, Ginger Prime or Work to Games videos. I'll leave them linked in the description. Those guys make the best videos on like how to use Final Fantasy XIV on controller. I highly recommend you go checking them out if you haven't seen them already. And yeah, this is it. This is Final Fantasy running on our Steam Deck. Um, so yeah, you might just have to play around with the like size of your hotbars and different things like that. Um, but yeah, all right, and that is it. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if it is. Um, and yeah, let me know how you're getting on with playing Final Fantasy XIV on your Steam Deck. Um, I hope you have a great day. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. I have no idea what this YouTube channel is or where it's going or what I'm gonna make. But if you wanna come along for the journey and join me for whatever this is, um, that'd be great. Um, yeah, I'll catch you later guys. Have a great day.